Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX just launched Starship Flight 6, and what happened next left everyone stunned. The world's most powerful rocket didn't just fly, it pushed engineering boundaries in ways we never expected. From a mysterious banana payload to a heart-stopping landing attempt, this launch rewrote the rulebook on what's possible in spaceflight. In a remarkable feat that surpassed the Saturn's 1969 record, SpaceX achieved the fastest turnaround time ever for a super heavy class launch vehicle. But here's where things get fascinating. SpaceX intentionally tried to break their own ship. Yes, you heard that right. They removed over 2,100 heat shield tiles and pushed the vehicle beyond its design limits. The results? Absolutely incredible. Despite SpaceX's best efforts to stress test this engineering marvel to its breaking point, Starship proved more resilient than anyone anticipated. We captured exclusive aerial footage through Reedline helicopter tours, giving us the most breathtaking views of this historic launch. From Elon Musk 24 hours, we're breaking down every spectacular moment of Starship Flight 6, from its revolutionary hot staging sequence to that dramatic ocean landing. Let's dive right in. The atmosphere at Starbase was electric on launch day, but few knew the real drama unfolding behind the scenes. Just 24 hours earlier, engineers had discovered a potential anomaly in one of the Raptor engines' sensors. As the countdown began, they were still analyzing data, knowing they had only minutes to make a potentially mission-critical decision. At T-50 minutes, the ground teams initiated fueling procedures under darkening skies. Hurricane Milton had just passed through days before, leaving the launch pad's structural integrity in question. As liquid methane and oxygen flowed into the giant rocket, creating a mesmerizing frost layer, engineers monitored thousands of sensors for any sign of trouble. Then came the first plot twist. The data from that suspicious engine sensor started showing unusual patterns. With millions watching live and billions of dollars at stake, SpaceX faced their first major decision point. But this team had a secret weapon. They'd completely revolutionized their launch preparation process. In an unprecedented move that shocked even industry veterans, they had completed the wet dress rehearsal and launch readiness checks within just 48 hours, a timeline that would have seemed impossible just months ago. The launch director's voice broke the tense silence. Go for launch. Those three words set in motion what would become one of the most daring rocket tests in history. But even as all 33 Raptor engines roared to life, shaking the ground across Starbase, few viewers knew about the real challenges that lay ahead. As Starship climbed through the atmosphere, the engineering team held their breath. They had a secret mission objective that hadn't been publicly revealed. They planned to push this vehicle harder than any rocket in history. The suspicious sensor readings from earlier they were part of a deliberate stress test that would push the limits of aerospace engineering. At T plus 90 seconds came the moment that had kept engineers awake at night. Hot staging. This incredibly risky maneuver had never been attempted at this scale before. While still attached to the booster, Starship ignited its own engines, creating a supersonic dance of fire and force that could have torn both vehicles apart. The forces involved were so intense that ground-based cameras temporarily lost focus. Meanwhile, the ground team was dealing with an unexpected crisis. The launch tower's lightning rod had been damaged during liftoff, potentially compromising their ability to catch the returning booster. This wasn't just about saving hardware. It was about proving that rapid reusability of massive rockets was possible. The booster's journey became increasingly dramatic. As it began its flip maneuver, Using hot gas thrusters and three central Raptor engines, observers noticed something unusual. The telemetry data showed higher than expected temperatures in the engine bay. The question wasn't just whether they could catch the booster, it was whether it would survive re-entry at all. During its descent, the booster's engine bay glowed an ominous red hot, creating a light show that had never been seen before in rocketry. Engineers watched in suspense as temperature readings approached critical limits. Then came the crucial moment. All 13 engines had to relight perfectly just a kilometer above the water's surface. Any mistake here would result in catastrophic failure. But while all eyes were on the booster, Starship itself was about to make history in a way nobody expected. 
For the first time ever, SpaceX attempted an in-space Raptor engine relight, a maneuver so precise that even a fraction of a second's delay could spell disaster. As it passed over a lightning storm, cameras captured what looked like something from another world. A spacecraft dancing among the clouds, with electrical discharges creating an otherworldly backdrop. Then came the most daring part of the mission. SpaceX had removed over 2,100 heat shield tiles, more than double what they'd initially planned. They programmed a re-entry angle steeper than any spacecraft had ever attempted. It was like taking a Formula One car, removing half its safety features, and driving it at double the design speed. The results defied all expectations. As Starship hit the atmosphere, it created a light show that left even veteran observers speechless. Sparks flew as the heat shield was pushed beyond its limits. At one heart-stopping moment, a tile broke free and struck a flap hinge, a moment that could have spelled disaster. But Starship remained steady, almost as if it was showing off. Throughout the descent, SpaceX continued pushing boundaries. They forced the nose down to stress test the flaps, creating forces that should have torn them apart. Instead, Starship seemed to thrive under pressure. The vehicle's stability systems, previously untested under such extreme conditions, performed flawlessly. In the final minutes, another twist emerged. The landing burn required perfect synchronization of three Raptor engines, and one of them was showing unusual pressure readings. As Starship approached the water, engineers made split-second decisions that would determine the mission's ultimate outcome. And through it all, there was an unlikely witness, a banana suspended by cables in the payload bay. This wasn't just a whimsical addition. It was carrying a sensitive acceleration measurement device disguised as ordinary fruit to test new ways of gathering flight data. This simple-looking banana experienced forces never before documented in spacecraft testing. The mission's final moments were nothing short of miraculous. Despite everything SpaceX had done to challenge it, the missing heat shield tiles, the extreme re-entry angle, the deliberate stress tests, Starship refused to fail. Even when it finally split upon ocean impact, it had already proved something revolutionary. That spacecraft could be pushed far beyond their theoretical limits and still function. This mission marked a turning point in space exploration. In just over a month since their previous flight, SpaceX hadn't just launched again. They'd rewritten the rules of what's possible in aerospace engineering. The successful hot staging, the precise engine relights, and the controlled descent through a deliberately challenging re-entry profile weren't just technical achievements. They were proof that the future of space travel had arrived. As the sun set over Starbase that evening, engineers were already poring over the mountain of data collected. What they found would change their approach to Starship's next flight. But that's another story, one that would prove even more dramatic than this historic day. As the sun sets on this historic day at Starbase, we've witnessed more than just another rocket launch. Flight 6 has proven that Starship isn't just surviving. It's thriving under conditions that would have been unthinkable just months ago. From its record-breaking turnaround time to its deliberately challenging re-entry, every aspect of this mission pushed the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight. And let's not forget our orbital hero, that brave banana that made history as the first fruit to experience the full journey from launch to splashdown. Sometimes the biggest achievements come in the most unexpected packages. The message is clear. SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're revolutionizing our approach to space travel. Each flight brings us closer to a future where space is truly accessible, where Mars isn't just a distant dream, and where the impossible becomes routine. Want to stay at the forefront of this space revolution? Join our growing community at Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that subscribe button to never miss an update on Starship's journey. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Flight 6's most impressive moment. Was it the hot staging, the banana space odyssey, or perhaps that incredible re-entry sequence. If you found this breakdown valuable, smash that like button. It helps us reach more space enthusiasts like you. Check out our exclusive merch store for the new Flight 6 collection, featuring our special Banana for Scale design, available now with a 15% holiday discount. Remember, space exploration isn't just about reaching new heights. 
It's about pushing boundaries and proving that, with enough determination, even our wildest dreams can become reality. Stay curious, keep looking up, and we'll see you in the next episode from Elon Musk 24 Hours. Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX is revolutionizing rocket launch infrastructure once again. As we speak, beneath the towering new orbital launch mount, their engineers are crafting something extraordinary, a groundbreaking dual flame bucket system that could reshape the future of space launches. This isn't just another upgrade. While Pad A relies on water-cooled steel plates to handle the immense forces of Starship launches, SpaceX is taking a bold new approach with Pad B. The team is racing against time to complete this innovative launch system by January 28th next year. And what they've already accomplished is nothing short of remarkable. Just consider this. They stacked an entire launch tower in just six weeks, but that was just the beginning. Now they're pushing the boundaries even further with a design that's caught the attention of the entire aerospace industry. The dual flame bucket system isn't just about handling more power, it's about preparing for a future where launches happen not just weekly or daily, but potentially multiple times per day. What makes this system truly special? Picture two massive flame trenches working in perfect harmony, creating a spectacular wing-like effect as they direct the raw power of Starship's engines away from the launch pad. This isn't just engineering, it's art in motion, designed to handle rockets more powerful than anything we've seen before. In fact, this new system is already built to accommodate future Starship variants with up to 10,000 tons of thrust. That's three times more powerful than the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. This isn't just about today's launches, it's about paving the way for the next generation of space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest innovations from SpaceX and beyond. Let's dive right in. The engineering marvel taking shape at Starbase represents more than just concrete and steel. It's a glimpse into the future of space launch infrastructure. Let's break down exactly how this revolutionary system works and why it matters for the future of spaceflight. At the heart of Launchpad B lies the innovative dual flame bucket system. Thanks to the incredible work of the Chrome Kiwi team, whose detailed 3D renderings have given us unprecedented insight, we can see how this engineering masterpiece comes together. Picture a massive rectangular frame, carefully angled to redirect the raw power of Starship's engines. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of the traditional single direction approach, SpaceX has designed a symmetric system that splits the flame into two massive streams. The numbers tell a compelling story. Each Raptor engine on Super Heavy generates thrust equivalent to five jumbo jets at full power. Multiply that by 33 engines, and you're dealing with forces that would flatten a small town. That's where the genius of the dual flame bucket design shines. By splitting these forces symmetrically, the system creates a balanced distribution that's both more efficient and more spectacular to witness. But SpaceX isn't just building for today, they're building for tomorrow. Internal documents reveal that the new launch pad is already designed to handle up to 10,000 tons of thrust. That's not just an arbitrary number, it's precisely what they'll need for the next generation of Starship, currently known as V2. Sources within SpaceX confirm that V2 prototypes are already in production, featuring